you're editing a Snagit image capture, do you ever wish that you had more space to work with? If so, a few quick adjustments to your editor can make a big difference. First, make sure that you hide your search pane by clicking this arrow, and make your open capture tray as small as it will go by clicking and dragging this top edge. Next, we're going to hide the ribbon tabs. To do this, just right-click anywhere in the ribbon and choose Minimize the Ribbon. This will hide everything except for the tabs at the top. When you need to select a tool, click on the tab you need to temporarily open the ribbon. Once you have the tool you need selected and go back to editing your image, the ribbon will hide again until the next time you need it. You can limit the number of times you need to open up the ribbon tabs by capitalizing on the space in your Quick Access Toolbar. By default, this toolbar is located at the top of the editor above the ribbon. To start off, it includes the Open, Save, Print, Undo, and Redo commands. However, you can customize this to give you quick access to the tools you use most frequently. To do this, choose the drop-down menu to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar and choose More Commands. Then, use this drop-down menu to select the list of commands you want to choose from. I'm going to choose All Commands for now. Commands in this left box are not included in the toolbar, while commands in the right box are. To remove a command, select it in the right box and click Remove. To add a command, select it from the left box and click Add. Now, for example, if I frequently resize my images, I can find the Resize Image command in the left box here and click Add to add it to my Quick Access Toolbar. This way, when I hit OK, I can now find that command here in the Quick Access Toolbar and just click on that and proceed with resizing my image without having to open the Image Ribbon tab. You can remove commands from the Quick Access Toolbar at any time by right-clicking the command you want to remove and choosing Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. If you ever want to just scrap everything and return to the original setup, you just have to open back up the Customize Quick Access Toolbar menu and click Reset and then OK. As a final tip, you can maximize time and editing space by setting up keyboard shortcuts for your most frequently used commands. From this menu, select Keyboard Shortcuts. From here, you can choose any command and give it a shortcut. For example, if I frequently rotate my images by 180 degrees, I might set up a shortcut for this command. Click in this Press New Shortcut key box and put in the command that you want. Typically, a modifier key like Shift or Control plus a number or letter. You want to choose something that's easy to remember but won't interfere with your other commands. For example, here I'm going to do Control Shift R for Rotate. Now, Snagit will let you know whether the shortcut you've chosen is already assigned to another command or if it's unassigned. If it's unassigned like this one, just click the Assign button and that will add the shortcut you've created to the current keys. And that's all there is to it. Take some time to find the setup and the combination of commands that's going to be most effective for you. And thanks for watching.